Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this afghan, which you could use for a bedspread or a throw, a scarf, a baby blanket, a tablecloth, or even a table runner. This stitch can be used for a lot of different things, so let's get started. I'm going to work with worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I'll start with a foundation chain in multiples of three plus one. So I started with a slip knot and then I'll make my foundation chain multiples of three plus one. After you have your foundation chain the correct length, you're going to double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. One, two, three. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, Pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. And you're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Okay, so after you've double crocheted all the way across the row, this is what it will look like. And then in the next row, you're going to chain two and turn and you're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So go ahead and double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Okay, I worked another row of double crochet and that is this section. So now I'll make a row of V-stitch and then I'll make a row of three double crochet in each V-stitch. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. And I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch. And that's going to take the place of my first V stitch. And now I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to make a V stitch in the next stitch. And that's double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so skip two, make a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two, V stitch. Skip two, V stitch. Okay, so there's my row of V stitches. Now the next row is three double crochet in each chain one space. So I'm going to chain two, and just to keep my ends even, that's going to count as the first double crochet. So I'll only make two in this one. So one and two. And that takes the place of the first three double crochets. So go to the next chain one space and make three double crochet. One, two, and three. And you'll repeat that all the way across the row. Make three double crochet in each chain one space. Okay, all the way across. Okay, and that's what that will look like. There's my two rows of double crochet, there's my row of V-stitch, and there's my row of three double crochet in each stitch. And now it just goes back to double crochet. So two rows of double crochet, and that's double crochet in every stitch all the way across, and then repeat these two rows here, and then again go back to a V-stitch row, and that will be a V-stitch in every third stitch, and then another row of three double crochet in each V-stitch. And so from here to here is one sequence, so two rows of double crochet, one row of V-stitch, one row of three double crochet in each V-stitch, double crochet in every stitch, another row of double crochet, a row of V-stitch, a row of three double crochet, a row of V-stitch, and a row of three double crochet. Just keep repeating that over and over. You can make whatever you like by starting out with the foundation chain, the desired width, or the desired length that you would like. So that's it. That's how easy it is to crochet this pattern. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.